Each one of the events, they look a little bit different, but in general, the events last about two and a half hours. Down here, we see the total number of minutes is 140, so that's two hours and 20 minutes. Of course, some things might go a little long, some things might go a little fast, so um, not every event is gonna be exactly the same, um, but in general, this is kind of how uh, an event might look. When, when all the guests arrive, um, they'll engage right off the bat in a small group discussion, groups of three to five people, discussing what they already believe about the issue. Let's say we're looking at something like um, beliefs around masculinity. So they might be uh, they might have the questions, uh, what is masculinity? Um, is toxic masculinity real? And what does that term mean to you? Uh, are you predominantly a, a masculine or feminine person? And, 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 and how do you differentiate between those categories? So people can, in their own small groups, talk about those things, just a soft introduction into the topic. After that, there is an introduction that's given by the presenters, that would be by you up on the stage explaining, hey guys, welcome to Real Talk Philosophy. This is what we're going to be discussing tonight. Here's the outline of our event, uh, a few disclaimers before we get started, and, and going over our healthy conversation guidelines. Um, normally, then, we'll also explore some artwork that's been created for this event. It's a really good opportunity for people to right away dive into the emotional complexity and dilemma of these topics. After this, um, there's then a lecture that shows off uh, just a bit of background information to make sure that the conversation that the conversations are contextualized in, in facts um, and to make sure that we know uh, what the big ideas out there are. So we'll look at definitions of the word, uh, maybe the etymo etymology of the term, and maybe the, the big significance of why is this an important thing to be discussing right now. And we might also be looking at some of the major arguments on, on each side. After that, we break up into small group discussion once again, and then there's uh, some kind of musical performance. Um, and then there might be another lecture diving a little bit deeper into some particular aspects of this topic. And then there's normally a game. Um, these are non-competitive games. These are collaborative games where uh, in small groups, people are working together um, to explore different arguments around the topic in a kind of gamified way. Um, check out another video to see more about that. Um, there might also also be an expert Q&A. Um, maybe you invite an expert from your local community to join the event, or you can screen a pre-recorded expert interview um, that, uh, that, that we have uh, made available to all of our local chapter leaders. After that, um, we normally have some kind of big group discussion. So whereas earlier in the night, everyone's been speaking in groups of, uh, you know, three to five people, but uh, but for um, the very end, it's nice to get to hear from everyone in the room. People's voices and ideas uh, are a bit more warmed up, a bit clearer. Uh, so it's really fun to get to do that. And then we normally look at the winners of our haiku and drawing contest. So, um, you know, it's a, just a fun way to end the night. Throughout the night, people have been working on these haiku and drawings, um, whoever wants to participate. It's not mandatory, of course. Um, and then we show them up on the screen and everybody can applaud for who uh, they think the winner should be. And then whoever gets the loudest applause might get, a, again, a free drink or, or free admission next time. Um, after that, we do a little closing. Uh, we announce you know, any open positions that there might be. Um, we thank everyone that's in involved. We might show off uh, the calendar of events that are coming up. Um, and then, and this is totally optional, although it's recommended, is to have some kind of after party afterwards. Now, there doesn't have to be a lot of effort that goes into this after party. Normally people just stay at the venue. The venue is usually um, a bar or a restaurant um, and they just hang out. They might continue drinking or continue eating, but in a less controlled environment. It's an opportunity for people just to socialize because we're really interested in building community here, not just a space for conversation, not just a space for depolarization, but really building community. Now, as a local chapter leader, you are all ultimately going to have the primary control and final call over what goes in these events. So let's say you don't want to play the game. All right, don't play the game. Let's say you don't want to do one of the lectures. Fine, don't do the lecture. It's really up to you. Um, so here you can see, um, again, uh, what the night might look like. So starting out with a small group discussion and giving a little introduction here, um, and then uh, some of the, the exploring some of the artwork. Um, here's one example just from an event on um, the origins of sexual orientation. Then again, there might be a little lecture, another discussion, uh, maybe a musical performance. 
uh, maybe another lecture, uh, a little game. Then we might have a Q&A with some experts, everybody speaking together in a big group. Um, and then we might have uh, the haiku and drawing contest again, if you choose, uh, and then some kind of closing and, and maybe the after party. So that's about what one event looks like. Again, about two and a half hours.